Hey guys, CMG here. Ignore the hammer noises. Someone's putting shelves on the wall. But I just made a momentous discovery. Especially with this. I've okay. I've had this Wii remote for years, right? And it's like never worked. But I put batteries in it, and it just turned on all of a sudden. Not quite at first. I think I see the problem. The buttons were stuck in because of the sticky, probably like, I don't know, apple juice. This is like a childhood Wii remote of mine. And it's the one that came with my Wii. I have the red Wii that came with New Super Mario Brothers, right? And I still have the nine check that works. But this just starts working all of a sudden. Not only that. Oh, this is getting sticky. Yeah, these are Dollar Tree Wii uh, batteries. But they actually kind of last long in a Wii remote. This Wii remote is starting to also show signs of working, but it only beeps from, it only sh goes off for like a second there, so I don't know what's going on there. But I'm thinking we better clean this Wii remote up. So I have this little dish of rubbing alcohol here. I don't think it's enough. I have a toothbrush, which I got from Dollar Tree. <laughs> Gonna see if I can clean this up. These, I'm just using the toothbrush first because I have these. This is I also have this rag. But the toothbrush is gonna get all this grime and stuff out of the sides. Like since this Wii remote never worked, I never really bothered to clean it up, right? Maybe I should have cleaned it up because cleaning things up sometimes just makes them work all of a sudden. The one and two buttons aren't working too well though. They only work like half the time. When I have the batteries in, the, the light only blinks like half the time. So, yeah, I'll see if I can get this to work. I do have this weird mark here, which I can't seem to get off. Rubbing alcohol will usually break down sharpie marks or things like that. Now, this might be paint, actually. I'm going a little more aggressive on this one. 
seeing if it wants to come off or not. Nope, doesn't look like it's budging. I'm gonna see if I can make this work with my Wii now. Okay, here we are. Moment of truth. Does it? I might already be synced up to my Wii because Remote did come with this Wii. Okay, I'll sync it. Oh, I might be a little trouble. Okay, you're right. Let's see if this will work. No? Hey! Got it working. And my, my uh, TV's in 4x... I put the Wii in 4x3 mode. Oh, is this not... IR sensor might not be working on here. Like most buttons seem to be working. Well, that's a problem, yeah. Like, look at... Oh, wait, no, it's working now. Oh, it's only working from, like, this one angle? Okay, uh... It's kind of iffy. Sometimes it wants to work, and sometimes... I think, uh... I think if I go further back, it works. Hmm, that's weird. All my other Wii remotes work from this distance. That is odd. But I guess it works, right? Let's test it with Super Mario Brothers. This isn't going to be fun. I never play it on here because there's input lag. And I actually have the uh, actual cartridge down there. Three of them. But, uh, oh, looks like last time I was playing, I died or something. Oh, yeah, input lag for days. Oh, the one button's kind of iffy. It's not working reliably. Uh, it's kind of... Ah, uh, it just keeps turning on and off. I have to hold it down really hard. And I did not press, uh, right. Let's see how far I can... Yeah, I'm holding down one and it's not running. Um... It's a problem. The Wii Remote's working now, but... Well, it's mostly working. A button's working, right? Let me just... Well, it has to be working. I had to use it to get in. Let me just go to the Wii menu real quick. Sorry if the hammer noises are bothering you. Plus the power blue. Plus and minus button. I don't know if I tested the minus. Probably did. Yeah. With that one button. Okay, we still have some work to do. I uh, clean those spider battery contacts. I'm just gonna. It doesn't blink for more than a second. Might be a problem. And real quick off camera, I'm just gonna see. I should lift those in. If I can sync it. Well, it syncs. And it's working. Just test the. Uh... Okay, yeah. Button's working. I probably so I think I've used this before this one it's just like a spare one I don't know so uh I'll turn off my 
be now. There we go. So uh, yeah, we'll clean this up and it should work pretty good. And I believe I do have the battery cover. I think it might be my pink Wii remote. <laughs> It's looking pretty good. So yeah, two B remotes. Looks like they're working now, yeah. And you may be wondering, early in the B video, I was talking about uh, why I don't like opening up B remotes. I'll show you exactly why. Because of this remote which I did custom things to, but I kind of regret because it's not the real thing anymore, right? I put this custom button thing on, and I made this D-pad out of hot glue. <laughs> That's right, I, I got the original button out, stamped it in Play-Doh, and then filled it up with hot glue. In fact, I made a video about this remote. It works surprisingly well, actually. But, problem is, like, if once you open a Wii Remote, it's hard to close up this side. It's not, never closes up quite as tight. I don't know. This remote works, though. But, uh, I like sticking to the official stuff, you know. And I switched out the custom buttons for the uh, original ones. Just because they are the originals. But, uh, yeah, I need to look through my buttons and stuff. Though we're not quite done with this video, are we? This battery cover. Could use some cleaning too. <laughs> Looking pretty good. I can definitely use some more rubbing alcohol on it, but that's pretty good for now. So I think that's the video. Yeah. I th uh, you know what? I better test that uh, one button real quick. Just to make sure. But yeah, I think that's going to be the end of the video. So, uh, TMG out. I'll, I'll add a little end, extra end to the video if it, this ends up not working. But yeah, TMG out. Bye.